Thank you. As part of Severe Weather Awareness Week, the News 19 Weather Authority bringing you some special reports. Now, the Weather Authority always points out how you cannot solely rely on outdoor sirens in the event of severe weather. Meteorologist Jessica Camuto joining us now in the studio with how those sirens are activated and why it's important to have several ways to get those alerts. Yeah, Christine and Jerry, each month those outdoor sirens, they are tested to make sure that they are working properly. When it comes to the ex activation process, well, some are countywide, while others are not. When severe weather threatens the Tennessee Valley, the Weather Authority and emergency management officials stress the importance of not solely relying on outdoor sirens. They're called outdoor warning sirens for a reason. They're not designed to wake you up out of bed in the middle of the night or, or really for anybody inside any type of building. Outdoor warning sirens are placed in locations where people congregate and for years have been used to alert communities. The sirens can be activated countywide when a tornado warning is issued or like Madison, Marshall and DeKalb counties are activated based on the polygon. They do the polygon of where the possible path of that storm is. So we receive that polygon here and then with our computer software, they identify the sirens that are located in that polygon and activate those only. Madison County maintains five sirens in Limestone County. Since they are located in Limestone, the sirens are run on their system. We approach it as uh, they are in Limestone County, so um, those the citizens that are covered by those sirens are, are essentially part of our responsibility as well. The southern half of Limestone County is covered with 48 TVA sirens, and those cannot be activated by Polygon. The majority of North Alabama activates their sirens this way, like Colbert County. The process behind that is we feel like that if the atmosphere is conducive to form a tornado in one side of the county, more than likely it is in the other side of the county as well, depending on the track of how that storm is moving, it very quickly will go from one side of the county to the other. While tornado sirens are still active today, when severe weather threatens the area, having multiple ways to receive alerts is the best way to keep you and your family safe. Having a plan in place, knowing where your closest storm shelter is, that you have a NOAA weather radio. We recommend that you have an app or two on your phone that will give you some type of notification. Now, here across North Alabama, there are more than 500 outdoor sirens. To read more on this and, of course, to find a way to download the Live Alert 19 app and everything else we've talked about this week, head to WHNT.com.